Mr. Ryder. Would you listen to me? Just relax a minute. Our film zone star with Once Upon a Time. Something's happening right now. We want quality in education. This is the main reason why we're marching today. This is not about a failure of communication. This is about an analysis of a whole system. We're trying to show them you know, that we got power. You know, show them that, that we got a voice. Who's going to do that? The people, us. Don't ask me, where's Joe? This boy, you know, he'll be out there on that big end line, yes, sir. He'll be out there on that big end line, defending his right to strike. Oh, that big end line. We made films that we thought an audience needed to see. The maternity center being closed out, what are we going to do? Yeah. The choice should be there for a woman if she wants her baby born in a hospital or if she wants her baby born at home. What's his name? Dwayne Pierre. We would tell stories from the street level. Hold it like thick that, a little lower down. We're working a little uh, experiment with film and asking questions and then kind of um, just talking on the street. Would you like to be a part of it? Sure, why not? First question is easy. Are you happy? Groovy. Just woke up. It's the first day of senior year and I have to get ready. One of the things that's at the heart of what Kurt Templin is about is the sort of deep humanity and understanding people in a, in a more complex way than simply as symbols of some social issue. I'm scared they'd be crippled. That's my whole problem. I don't want to be crippled. I don't want people to see me as crippled. That's it. That's the fucking bottom line. Bobby, mm. yeah. You have to find a way to like your characters, to care about them. Your relationship has to be one where there is an underlying respect. You think you can handle it? Probably not. Don't know yet. It takes a village to make a film. It takes all that time, it takes all that expertise, because people are very passionate about the films they make here. What better a place to bring your projects that you take risks on or don't know how to do, but there's a story that you can't ignore. Cartemquin is a community. And it's a community that I think is expanding with intention. So it's created all of these new programs with the specific aim of developing storytellers. We want to help new people, new voices, find ways to get their stories out and step into the arena. We also see ourselves as media activists. I'm making films now, I'm making films today, so I can't wait for the law to change. We as a community have something that we can do right now to stand up and say we're going to assert our rights. Experts say women care to a greater degree than men about issues of war and peace, the poor, and equality. Fair use is saying, I have to be able to critique, to be able to parody, to put things in historical context. How many women vote for a male candidate because they find him attractive? What we need to do is organize. We did it first for documentaries, but now it's spreading everywhere. Kurt Temkin's always been a political place, but now it's a much more powerful form of advocacy for filmmaking itself. 
We understand the importance of media in the democratic society, and you have to fight to create that space. Society does not censor you until it really thinks you're dangerous. We have not been considered sufficiently dangerous. I'm Michael Zansky from Local 1010. I'm not about to be scared by a movie, and along with many of you, I saw through this propaganda. I'm asking you if you apologize for the unpatriotic remarks that you made. I'm not apologizing for nothing like that because I don't have to. Kartemkin films, whether they're done last week or 20 years ago, still have that same basic honesty. It seems like you know how life repeats itself as a cycle. You just be one of the persons that's telling the story. I'm trying to be one of the ones telling the story. Consider my remaining days to be like money in the bank. When it is all gone, I will be repossessed. The Bible says the last enemy to be defeated is death. I read that when I was a kid and it stuck with me forever. I really didn't know whether you'd heard or not, but um, she's not with us anymore. Oh, did she pass away? Mm -hmm. Oh, the poor thing. <laughs> Dude, no fucking way. I think you just fucking found it. <laughs> I finally fucking found it. <sighs> After 50 years of filmmaking, starting 50 years, years in the back. future. In the after 50 years. For 50 years, and we're still here. We are just getting started. Something about Cartoon Point just refuses to go away. I'm here, and I'm showing the world that you can be here and still free and stay yourself and get respect from the world. You have to fight me to put me down. Cause I'm not just gonna let you say, well, you're nobody. Cause I'm gonna tell you I'm somebody. 